Hi there, my name's Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onside News update for the second week of November 2023. Well, in Saudi Arabia, Aldenham Education Group is to build a new K-12 school campus in King Abdullah Financial District. A letter of intent was signed between AEG and King Abdullah Financial District Development and Management Company, and it is anticipated that Aldenham Riyadh will be completed to accept students for the 2026 academic year. South Korea's Hirim Architects and Planners announced that it has secured the architectural design contract for Hyundai Motor Company's new automotive assembly plant in Saudi Arabia. The project, a joint venture with the Saudi Public Investment Fund, is set to be located in the King Abdullah Economic City and will produce 50,000 vehicles annually. Saudi Arabia also signed over $533 million worth of agreements with African countries during the Saudi Arab African Economic Conference held in Riyadh in a significant boost to the kingdom's ties with the continent. The deals covered energy, roads and health and will be financed through the Saudi Fund for Development. Mazda, EDF Renewables and the Nesma Company have signed a power purchase agreement with Saudi Power Procurement Company to develop a 1,100 megawatt Al Hedakia solar power plant in Saudi Arabia. The estimated $1 billion project, once operational, will power more than 190,000 homes per year and displace more than 1.8 million tonnes of carbon dioxide annually. In the UAE, Dutko and Ellington Properties announced the launch of their new waterfront project, One River Point, in Dubai's Business Bay. Set for completion in the second quarter of 2027, the development will house a collection of 295 studios, one, two and three bedroom apartments as well as three and four bedroom penthouses and exclusive four bedroom duplexes equipped with private pools. In Oman, the Ministry of Energy and Minerals signed a memorandum of cooperation to develop carbon capture, utilization and storage and blue hydrogen. The MOC was signed with Petroleum Development Oman, Oman Shell, OQGN and Oxy. Also in Oman, Asyad Group issued a tender for the construction of infrastructure for the upcoming Free Zone project at Muscat International Airport. The scope of works for Phase 1 will include construction of dual and single carriageways, access points and other ancillary works. Bahrain Works Ministry has issued a construction tender for the fourth package of the North Marak Highway project. The project scope includes the development of Basatine Link, Signature Bridge and related approach ramps and a loop road connecting the new Bastine Link to Phase 1 of the existing North Manama Causeway. The deadline for submitting bids for this project is on the 4th of February 2024. Well, that's the news for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep you up to date with the latest construction news and all future developments here at Ventures On Site. Well, like always, we hope this news update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures On Site Live.